different person saying thank you. High Scores is hanging out with us this morning for Show Us Your Cocktail on Marco and Jeet's X1075, like we do every single Friday at just about 9 a.m. Uh, Armin, is it Armin or Armand? Armand. Armand, okay. Uh, what exactly would you be making? over there. What's that? Yeah, well, I didn't know if there was like, you know, if it was like a designer type thing. Or mom. It is. No. It's definitely a designer type thing. You look had at the bags? guy. He looks like a designer poster boy. The uh, the other voice you hear is Kat. She is the beer connoisseur. Right. At, Rockstar. Uh, high schools. The Rockstar. Rockstar. Give me some credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So what, what cocktail will you be making us and what's in it? All right, so this one's called uh, There You Goes. So in this cocktail, we're going to have Hendrix gin. We have some uh, fresh lemon juice, mm -hmm. a little bit of simple syrup, fresh basil, cucumber, and then we top it off with Anderson Valley's uh, briny melon ghost. This sounds really good. And that, that last thing is, is beer, right? Correct, yes. yes. Briny melon so ghost is a beer. Gin. Have you ever had gin and beer before? No. no I was just reading the other day, like gin is good for you. It has like positive health effects. Is this true or is that crap? I mean, I it must be personally crap. I saw feel your like face. all those positive Never health mind. benefits. It's so. actually kind of amusing because uh, gin's based in juniper, and juniper berries are completely poisonous. Well, gin tastes like a pine tree to me. Like when people it's have gin juniper. and tonics, I was like, my God, when, nice tree. Whenever I drink gin, there are zero health uh, <laughs> uh, anything positive. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm an optimist. Well, I mean, if you drink enough of it and go home with a certain lady, something might show up positive. Well, that's true. Oh. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Kat, when was your last Age joke? When was your last <laughs> one night stand? I'm just. Curious, Kat. Well, I did stand on a table yesterday. Does no, 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 no. You're real. You're the beer rock star. When was your last one night stand? A lady does not kiss and tell, but oh. thank you for planting. All right. All right. Nothing. Yesterday. <laughs> She's just coming out from it, right? Uh, yeah, you know, he's wearing the clothes that I was wearing at the bar yesterday. All right. However, it's not a walk of shame when you're a rock star ever. Armin, are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this thing. I'm excited for this. Now, of course, uh, gin and beer, neither one of us had ever had before. But before we started this job, I've never drank in a scorpion before. We swallowed scorpions whole. Right. We've done that. Is we that a euphemism? What did we have uh, no. <laughs> what, what did we have last week? Uh, it we was had very eclectic. It was like uh, there was uh, uh, egg whites. Yeah, egg, egg whites, whites and, and champagne. And some vodka. The place was very and, cool. And there was, was a, a flower. It was, it was a candied hibiscus. Yeah. Uh, the place was called Fizz. It was down. It was at Caesars. Oh, yeah, right? Caesar's. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was a great place. I mean, really cool place. All right, Armand, explain to people what you're doing here. All right, so right now I'm taking the uh, fresh basil and then also our cucumber, muddling it up a little bit. You don't want to go too crazy because, you know, you make... Uh, Make the basil get a little bit bitter, just to get the flavors out. Oh, you're very sensitive to the basil. Armand. Well, listen, man, you he's a mixologist. Right. He is a mixologist. He's got to just right. Basil. You know what? Remember I was mentioning earlier how many scientists I know? Yeah. I just met one more, Armand. The, Absolutely. He is the uh, Carl Sagan of cocktails. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you are the Carl Sagan of cocktails. He's, right, like, what, he's like, if I had a nickel for every time someone that. called me that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd you, have a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next we're coming in here. Uh, we got some lemon juice, fresh lemon. All right, it looks good. It's organic, but I only, I only drink organic. Absolutely. You know, it actually only comes from uh, lemons that had north-facing sun. You know what? Yes, I said north-facing sun. You free-range lemons. You must have read my bio on my Twitter account. And That's exactly what it is. Oh, of course. Free, no grains. All right, so this is good. Yep, a little bit of simple syrup. Yep. I got some balance to it, and then we're going to finish off with our Hendrix gin. Oh, yes, my favorite part. Look at this bottle. This looks like something you found on a pirate ship in like 18. That's what I was saying. That's a kick ass looking bottle. Boy, I can smell the gin. Yeah. I'm hammered. How I can, can smell the drink? fun. Yes. It smells like cucumber. Now, how we always uh, kick off our weekend, Jeep and I, is about 10 15, we head up to Summerlin. And uh, we basically keep Uber in business. <laughs> right. Because we will Uber from bar to bar to bar starting at about 10 30. And then we'll last till about 4 or 5 until we've got to be poured into our homes. Right. So basically, we do the uh, Summerlin Alcoholic <laughs> World Tour. And uh, when we have our uh, tour shirts, they all say Summerlin. 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 Well, shameless, Summerlin. shameless plug. I mean, you guys do realize that you're not far from our bar where there's. Video games. Uh, right. right. We but, will stop by me. But I can't walk home from your bar. Well, you guys just said that you pour We're yourself in an Uber. Uber. From we'll Uber. Bar. You can yeah. Uber from the bar? All right. Actually, you can lift. We'll check that out today. No, no, we will. High scores, Blue Diamond. That's who's in. All right, where are we with the cocktail here? All right, so now we're ready to shake it up. Shake it, man. Nice. Do your thing. This is our first made of it. Whoa! 
I love the sound of that. Oh, yeah. I know there's a lot of pissed off guys this morning because usually they get on the online and they see a woman with uh, some breastuses, some pontoons, and everything, right. and she's shaking. This morning it's uh, it's Armin, but that's okay. He's doing a fantastic job. No, I guess it just was just the woman with the cans this morning. That's, that's right. The beer cans. All right, so now cans. you're pouring this drink. I tell you, I really, mm. I'm into your creativity and your sensitivity with this drink. I mean, yeah, and he's pouring it into kind of like a champagne flute, but he's got a strainer that's it's going through the strainer into the flute. All right, give G, give that to G so he can get his first. Oh, now the beer comes up, yeah, right? So we got to top it off with the beer. And what kind of beer is this? So, this is the Anderson Valley Briny Melon Goza. So what you're going to get off of this beer is a lot of melon. Uh, one of the fun things about a Goza is that um, it has a very distinct, like, saltiness to it, mm. and, like a brightiness to it, almost like a salt and vinegar chips on the back end. God, um, I love it salt and vinegar very, chips. Me too. It's a very highly carbonated beer. It's almost as carbonated as, like, a... Um, like a champagne, but not quite as much. Can, can look you at this drink. Let me see the can of the beer. Can I just want a little bit of that? Because uh, I'll tell you, Kat, you said salt and vinegar, and I'm like, I'm in. On the back end. Yeah, so this yeah. drink going to be. looks like a piece of art. Mm. Look at that. It's, it's almost what perfect. Does. What is that? A, is that a basil leaf? Yep, fresh basil right fresh on top. Fresh basil. All right, let's give this a try. This is the healthiest thing Jeets has had. All week. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say all year. Oh, dude, but... you were right about that salt and vinegar thing. Uh -huh. All right, great. And this is called There That's You Goes, good. right? There You Goes. There You Goes. You want to try this, Mark? I'll get some here in a minute. But uh, There You Goes, which you can find in high scores. And you guys, again, are at Blue Diamond, right? Yep, right. Blue Diamond location. Okay. Well, that's great. This is actually phenomenal. I, I am blown away. This well, is really good. Did you get drunk off that? Oh, right hells yeah. All right, right let's I do mean, it. I get, I get drunk on a lot. <laughs> You're <laughs> crap. <laughs> Well, thank you guys for being here, Kat and Armin. Uh, really appreciate it. The video will be online. Uh, real quick, Kat, you guys want to plug your social medias and stuff, where people can find you guys, your website, anything? It's Gosh. yours. <laughs> Feature beer of the month, anything? Feature beer of the month, not particularly. I rotate my draft handles really quickly, so uh, right. once you come in and have something, it's gone. She we are on Tap Hunter. <laughs> do you guys have a happy hour or anything? We do, from 3 to 6. So okay. 3 to 6 happy hour. Um, right. But uh, you can find our tap list on Tap Hunter. Um, that's going to be the best one to do just because we rotate so frequently. Awesome. It is High Scores Blue Diamond on Facebook. Yep, High Scores Blue Diamond on Facebook. Should be really easy to find. Worst case scenario, you find the Stephanie location. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, well. I'm telling you, there's a rivalry. There's something there going on. Rivalry. There's something going on. Armin's team captain over on Blue Diamond. He's like, I'm taking us to number one. All right. Wow. Thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Show us your cocktails, Marco and Jeets X1075.